This is the fourth time I'm recording. This is the fourth time I'm recording. Why? Hello, people. Jen and Polismat here. Today, I'll be showing you how to use Loadin on your Wii U to play backups, the so-called backups. This uh, also serves, I don't care about that, uh, this also serves as a tutorial on how to boot the homebrew menu. So uh, I'm running 5.5.1, so make sure you're running that. Uh, second, you want to disable automatic software downloads or your console may get updated automatically and you don't want that. Then go over to your internet settings. If you don't have a connection set up, set it up now. If you do, press X to open the connection me the menu. And this is the one I'm using. So uh, change the settings. The ones you want to change are the DNS settings. It'll uh, be set to uh, to get the DNS address automatically, you don't want that. As a primary DNS address, you have to set it to 104. Oh, I can't do this on the camera. Can I? 104. Um, 236. God. Dot. Zero, uh, 072 I'm not going to hit a single one right am I 203 got the last one right that's fine so uh, you want to set that as your secondary address as well what this will do is uh, it will disable the access to the Nintendo servers so it you shouldn't get update prompts uh, you shouldn't get updates connection to the update server or anything of those, the sort. Online play will work just fine. This address, unlike the TubeHacks DNS, also allows you to keep using YouTube if you want to. It doesn't block YouTube. Uh, also, while you have this set, you cannot use the eShop. At the moment, it doesn't really matter much because uh, the um, uh, latest Wii U version is 5.5.1, 5, 5 but better safe than sorry. So just save the settings and let's test the connection. And there we go, it works fine. Now, next, yes. Next, the thing that you want to do next, I'm going to shut this off for now. Uh, the thing you want to have next is um, an SD card. You're going to need an SD card uh, for your Wii U. If you don't have one, get one. They're fairly cheap, especially now they have become cheaper. So this is a 32 gigs uh, SanDisk card, works just fine. You want to format it to uh, FAT32, so, but I'll get to that in just a moment. So, see you in a moment while I switch the computer. So, let's get right into it. So, the first thing you want to do is disable your antivirus, including Windows Defender, because Loadin or Homebrew Launcher can... I think it's Loadin that keeps getting deleted, and it's very annoying. So, uh, yeah, first thing you want to do is format your SDHC card to FAT32 64 kilobytes allocation unit size. If 64 kilobytes doesn't work for you for whatever reason, just change it to 32 and try again. Uh, yeah, so um, first of all, you want to open this, the homebrew launcher zip and just extract this on the root of the SD card. You should now have a Wii U apps folder with homebrew launcher inside. Uh, next you want to grab Loadin. And I'm not really sure this is actually needed 
it might, it might not, I have no idea. It probably is and is needed and it's included here, or it might not be needed and it might be just for the server, but I'm not entirely sure, so why not? Let's just keep doing that. So create a folder here because I don't want to have this laying around and just name it, I don't know, Lodin GX2. Just extract everything. And you can now close this. You should now have uh, the homebrew launcher and Lodin. Next thing you want to do if you want to use Lodin is get a game. So I got this game uh, just for to try it out. So it's uh, the, the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Uh, some games might require patching like Mario uh, Color Splash, Paper Mario Color Splash, but they still work. They might require patching for other regions, but that's about it. Uh, yeah. So, once you do this, your SD card setup will be pretty much uh, done. Uh, yeah, the next thing you want to do is grab your Wii U again, connect it to the internet, and I'll show you right now. So let's continue where we left off. So just start your Wii U with the SD card in, obviously. Uh, so open up the web browser. And you want to navigate to this specific page. Load in dot o v h. Once you do that, you might want to make a bookmark so you can access it faster or you can do the uh, self-host which I'm going to show in a while like not today because I'm busy with stuff uh, so once you boot that this is the page you want to open you can take that if you want to auto start but I'm just going to press submit And it should start the homebrew menu. There we go. So to open load in, just well open load in and press load. So uh, this is load in. This is where your backups because well let's not get into that will show up so if you press gr you can toggle which screen shows on the tv and which screen shows on the wii u gamepad you can press start to download the covers the cover images for well any game that you have in this case as you see i have the twilight princess hd cover right there just load the file and there we go twilight princess hd now i will try to find a way again to record the screen while holding both the wii u gamepad and my surface pro 4 and i'd rather not drop either of them especially my surface pro 4 which well it's mine and it's a Surface Pro 4, right? Or I can just show you, I don't know, the screen. That'll do, I don't have to play. Or I don't know, I don't even know. So the only screen that has a game now, the gameplay, is the uh, actual TV screen. So I'm just going to show you that, I think. So here you go, it's the Wii U screen. I can't actually click the button because I'm holding my Surface Pro 4 with both hands and I don't want to use my feet to actually control the Wii U. But yeah, as you see, it works just 
fine. So if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below, subscribe to my channel for more and share my content to all those who might be interested in it. Thank you for watching guys. See ya! So before I go, I actually got someone to help me with the recording and I also forgot to show, I think I forgot anyway, to show how to get back in the homebrew menu or load in after, well, exiting a game, but before shutting down the console. So, load in. Load. There we go. So, we also got uh, color splash here. Color splash. We can see you moving like this. <laughs> I'm still recording with this on my hands, so yes, it is going to be shaking. He's fixing pipes. Okay, that's about enough gameplay. Home button. Just press the home button to go there, yeah, just to exit the app. And if you don't shut down your system between, uh, well, launches of loading, you can, you can just uh, launch the Me Maker. So, gamepad, come here. Or, or that, that will do. But I wanted to show it on the gamepad, so screw you. And it will uh, show loading again. If you want to go to the homebrew menu itself, press the home button again. And you will 
go to the homebrew launcher if you have any other homebrew apps uh, so yeah this time that's really it I will be also posting a video on self-hosting so you don't need to actually visit the Lodin website and even if it goes down you'll be able to actually well use the exploit to get into the homebrew launcher and Lodin so bye high pitch stuff is cool